Hello. Hello. Hi. This is Philip's wife. Philip. Philip. Philip who? She's not wrong. Who? She's not wrong. Sonaro, are you sure you dial this? Are you dialed the right number? Yeah. Okay. Who's Ralph? I'm not sure who Philip is. <laughs> I'm not sure who Philip is. And this is you're calling Hawaii. Do you know you're calling Hawaii? Yes. Okay. Okay, sister. How can I help you? Who's Ralph? Who? Somebody by the name of Ralph is on the phone. He sounds like he's drunk. No one's on the phone except for me. What? I don't know who Ralph is. I'm not sure who Ralph is. I think you have the wrong number. I really do. Try to redial. Uh, Who are you? Who'd you call? I didn't call, honey. You called me. I answered uh, who the is phone. This? <laughs> I'm a pastor. Who's I can crazy? pray with you. I can talk. <laughs> and I'm in Hawaii. And I okay. see that your number is New York. No. Hello? Hello? Yes? Or are you going to tell me what you're talking about? Okay, I'm not sure. You called me. You called what? me, so I'm not really. Yes, you called me. I can't hear you. Sister, I said that you called me. My dear lady, you got the wrong number. Okay, thank you. Okay, Because I don't know who that you. you're talking about. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Um, my grandma was just calling you, and she was just yes. looking, looking for some spiritual guidance, really. <laughs> she said she didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah, I think what happened was she she's a little bit senile, but she did say she wanted to get some prayer or some encouragement or something like that. Okay, because first she called me and said she was Philip's wife. And I told her that I'm not sure who she's speaking about. And then I told her I was a pastor because she asked me, who was I? So I can pray with her. That's not a problem. Put her on the phone. Okay. Just I have one. no problem with that. Sure. What's your name, sister? My name is Marcy. Hi, Marcy. And you're in New York? Yes. Okay. You know this is Hawaii, right? Right. Um. Somebody recommended uh-huh. your number to her, so... Oh, someone... Yeah. Okay. Okay, someone that used to live here, right? Yes. Okay, that that's fine. Okay. I haven't heard from that person from... A, someone from Brazil, correct? Or... No. Uh, no, not okay. from Brazil. Okay. Okay, um, can I place you on a brief what, What's her name? Her name's Gracie. Okay, Gracie. Okay. Okay, um, can I put you on a brief hold while I get her? Sure. Thanks. Sure. Hello. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Who's Hello? Gracie? Hi, Gracie. Hello. Hi, Gracie. So I heard that you wanted some prayer. Yeah. Okay. What What, what are we praying about? What will we? I pray can't for? hear you. I said, what will we pray for? What would you like to pray for? Um, 
I think what she's trying to say is she's got um a bad habit of buying lotto tickets, like to the point where it's damaging like finances and stuff like that. Okay, okay. So what kind of tickets is that? What kind like, of what? Uh, oh, like scratchers. Tickets? Okay. Um, what do you call that? Lottery. Yeah, we don't have that here, but okay. Oh. Okay. So we, we're going to pray that that habit of that addiction of gambling, because that's gambling, would be broken. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Gracie. Okay, my dear. Anything else? No. Okay. So I'm going to pray to to God, if that's okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so let's come before the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord for telephones, and that you're able to communicate from the heavens, Lord, with technology in this century, Father God. We come to you, Lord, and we know that you are a loving and a humble God. We know, Lord, your promises, and it is written that as we pray, you would listen from the heavens, Lord. And when we're praying, Lord, we're inviting you into the middle of our lives, Lord, So, Father, we lift up Gracie right now, your beloved child, your beloved daughter, Father. And I place her in your arms for your your love and your guidance. Father, we break off any spirit of addiction, of gambling, Father God. And, Lord, your promise in the name of Jesus. Father, we break that off. We bind it, Father And we cast that addiction of gambling back to the pit of hell where it came from. Father, we lift up Gracie's beautiful hands and her beautiful heart and her beautiful mind, Father God. We speak healing over Gracie from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, we pray that any time, and Gracie gives you her hands and her thoughts and her heart, and we pray that any time a thought comes through, remind her, Lord, that you have promised her in Jeremiah 29, 11, you said, and it is written, Gracie, I know the plans that I have for you, not to cause you harm, but for a future and a hope. Lord, your promise is that you would be with Gracie always, even until the end of time. Lord, in Psalms 139, you said that you know when Gracie lays down in the morning and when she rises up at night. Father, you said that you know her every thought. Father, you said that you have her in verse 6, hemmed in from the front and from the back with your love, and there is nowhere that she can go that you are not with her. So, Lord, Gracie and her granddaughter and I, Lord, we give you permission to remind Gracie in her heart and in her mind, if she ever has a thought of buying those tickets, Lord, Father, that you are her provider, that you, that she does already have an inheritance in heaven, Lord. So, Father, we pray that you would continue to provide Gracie's needs, Father, and we know, Lord, that she has a loving granddaughter with her that's you've provided for her, Father God. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for being with Gracie, Father, and bringing her through this storm of addiction and buying those tickets, Lord. We break that off of her right now in the name of Jesus. Father, you said what we release on earth that you would release from the heavens, Father God. So we release healing from that addictive gambling spirit, Father God. And we speak shalom, your peace piled upon peace, piled upon peace. Father, mix with grace over Gracie, Father. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. We ask all things and declare all things in Jesus' name, and we say amen in Jesus' name, amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Gracie, <clears throat> Gracie, honey. So, Gracie, you know, what you do for thing because that is, uh, I've seen, we don't have that here, but when I was visiting on the mainland, I saw those. And that's a false promise, you know. It's really a false promise. And yes. I, I would take that, what? Yes. Yeah, so you just let it go. And it says in the Bible, it says that we should take our every thought captive. And remember when you feel 
like you're going to purchase that, just ask God for help every day when you get up. Lord, be with me today, and he'll help you through. And if you ever decide to buy it, remember, it's only a thought. And a thought comes, and then it goes, you know. And then you take however much you would spend, sister, and you put it in a jar, how much ever your ticket it was, how much you normally spend, put it in a jar. And then at the end of the week, you buy yourself something. Or you take your granddaughter and you have something out to eat, you know, or have something you can share together, a tea or a coffee or something. And you treat yourself, my dear. Okay? <clears throat> okay. You have a beautiful name. So they call you Gracie because your name is Grace? That's that's right, ma'am. And, and thank you so much for what you're doing. You're very welcome. So her name means... Grace is a very beautiful name. I have a family member named Grace. And it always reminds me that there's going to be a lot of people around us that are imperfect, might get on our nerves, including ourselves. But we always give grace. We always give the chance of, you know, love and kindness. Okay, my dear, thank you so much. God bless you both, and you can call me anytime you need prayer. All right. God bless you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Good night.